evening. <laughs> it's almost Halloween, and it's time for flashlights. <laughs> anyway, right. pretty dark out here. And I'm not sure how much of this is the first one you're going to see, but this is the little cheapy red one. And this is a 5 lumen, I believe it's a 5 lumen flashlight. And I don't think you can see anything. There's a tree in front of you, but I don't think this camera's picking it up. Almost got to kind of get close to it. You see there's a tree there. And that's only about 5 foot in front of me, so... Not very bright. You wouldn't want to be caught in the dark alley with this one. And it's certainly not going to blind anybody. So technical wise, not very good. Um, walking the dog wise, maybe if you lose your keys maybe in front of you, it might not be too bad. Okay, next up is my aim. Um, tactical flashlight sitting on my uh, SR22 Ruger and this one's 150 lumens there's that tree it's in front of me there's a tree about oh, that's about 10 feet away this branch is about 7 feet away that tree down there is probably about 25 30 feet away and the one beyond it can barely just see it on this picture is probably uh, about 40 feet away um, it's not too bad that's 150 lumens uh, going down the street here like we showed before you can see my little reflectors down there and this is the road see the road here what you can't see those treetops down there or nothing I can see them a little bit but uh, the camera's not even picking them up so uh, this is pretty good for probably about you know 40 foot away certainly would blind somebody okay next up is my uh, Phoenix this is a uh, PD-35. This is the older version. This uh, flashlight is actually going through several different uh, upgrades. It uh, went from this one's uh, 650 lumens tops um, rated. I can't find the specs on it because the specs are so old now, I guess, because they went to 840 lumens top to 850 lumens top, and they went to 950 lumens. So this one's the older version. This is last year's model, and this is 650 lumens on the uh, top speed. It actually has five different uh, settings. First setting, you can see it's just barely hitting these trees here. It's hitting that tree pretty good. It has a pretty good uh, throw on the sides. You can't see it on the camera so well, but you can maybe see it right here on the ground. Um, but that's on the low setting and that's about 50 lumens um, if I can find out where the button's at <laughs> no, I feel it okay this is 150 lumens this is what I pretty much can gather from um, from what the uh, settings are in the new ones that's about 150 this is about 300 lumens you can see that big tree over there. You can see the yard. Pretty good. Pretty good uh, throw from a little flashlight. This is 450 lumens. You can see a lot more of the yard. And you hit the top speed of 650 lumens. And you can tell it's. You can really tell the trees here. The close up ones, the far down ones. You can see them pretty good as well. Um, the uh, the side to side view it's pretty bright on the sides even and like I said this is from a little tiny flashlight now we're going to just use the top speed going down the road here 
and going down the road here. This is 650 lumens. Um, I can see the treetops down there pretty good, but it lights the road up pretty good. You can actually see from sides. This is the sides. So it has pretty good, uh, pretty good throw for a little tiny flashlight, and only 650 lumens being the older version. Uh, trying to hit the treetops down there. Uh, I can see them faintly, but the camera's really not picking them up so well. But uh, certainly would blind someone at that speed. And I believe it, it can run at this 650 lumen rating here for about uh, one hour and 37 minutes. But like I said, this is the uh, older specs. The new ones are 950 now. Now, next up is the uh, Nightcore P12. And the low setting here, you can just barely see it. This is only a 5 lumen setting. Next setting is 150. You can see it much more of the yard with that. It also has a pretty good throw on the sides. Uh, next setting is 450. You see a lot more of the yard with that. All the way down to that 40 foot tree mark down there. And its top setting is 950, like the uh, new um, Phoenix PD35s. This is 950 lumens. Pretty bright. Certainly can make out the yard really well. Uh, you can see into the woods there pretty far. Uh, I've used this one before here, and I can see raccoons in this wood sometimes. Their little eyeballs glowing. Now we'll come down to the street here again. See how it does going down the street. You can see the throw on the sides, really bright on the sides. It's a kind of a cool light, um, cool color. Try to hit those treetops way down there. Uh, you can sort of see them with the camera here. I can see them a lot better than with the camera shown. Um, but uh, still, you just can't, you know, you wouldn't be able to tell what kind of a tree it is. You can see there's a tree down there, but you can't really tell what kind of a tree. But still pretty bright. 950 lumens out of a little tiny flashlight like that. Um, can't beat that. Now we can try doing the comparison here. Um, between the two, and I'll do it in the yard here. See if I can hold on to the camera and do it at the same time here. Okay. Yep. See if you can see the difference here. Over here is the uh, Phoenix uh, PDX or PD35 and we'll show the yard here this is the 35 over here and you can see that the uh, the Nightcore with the extra 300 lumens is definitely brighter you can definitely tell the extra 300 lumens difference there both the same size but the new uh, PDX will give you the extra 300, mine's the older version, but you can tell the difference in, in those definitely. Alright, next is the uh, Nightcore uh, TM15, and this is the one with the blinking, you can see the blinking uh, on-off button, which is kind of nice when you're in the dark. Kind of. Uh, the only thing bad about that is when it doesn't never shut off. I mean, it doesn't go for a certain amount of time and then shut off. It, you have to actually kind of unscrew the back a little bit to make that thing stop doing that if you're not going to use it very often. This has four settings to it. Uh, the first being kind of low, but that's 150 lumens. But, you know, this the sides coming off this is really bright. This is a uh, uh, three Creo... 
light beam. Now you can see in the woods pretty far. That's the low, low setting. Next up you have like 600 lumens. Next up you have uh, I think a thousand lumens. And then the top setting which is the turbo mode and uh, this one is the upgraded version, it's not the 2650, this is actually the 2800 and really really bright there's no mistaking what you're looking at here this is off to the sides, here. don't fall now pretty far off to the sides not as far as the little beams I, I noticed but still, it's, it's pretty bright off to the sides. I'll come over to the street here. We'll look down the street here. We'll turn it off for a second. Hopefully, we don't trip on nothing. Like I said, it gets dark here. And this isn't even that dark yet. Alright. This is down the street. This is the turbo mode. And you can see those trees down there pretty good there. Way down here. Hopefully I don't wake up the neighbors. I probably wonder what the hell is going on here. But that's a beam there. That's 2800 lumens. Really bright. And this has a uh, yeah, thermal shutdown so it'll actually shut itself down after it gets too hot. You can actually feel it's starting to get warm already. No problem seeing anywhere in the yard with that baby. And all the way down this road here, which is really dark down there. I mean, I could light up that. I can't see it on the camera so well, I don't think. But I can see all the way down that road. No problem. Anyone be down there be totally blind. This is brighter than a headlight from a car coming down there. Alright, now this one's the uh, Nikkor TM26 and just like the uh, the other version it actually has that flashing button which you have to kind of unscrew the back section for and it has a little three lumen setting which is not very bright you can barely make out that tree it looks like that little sticking uh, flashlight Next one's 150 lumens, 600 lumens, getting pretty bright. This is 1850 lumens, and that's pretty bright even off the sides here. No problem seeing any of them woods. And then the turbo mode in this mode is 3800, and that's really bright. It's like uh, a big Mack truck coming at you. We'll get down to the street here. Hopefully my neighbor over here doesn't wonder what the hell's going on here. We'll see down the street here. Pretty bright. Try to sit those trees way down there. Doesn't have a real tight beam down there, I noticed. But you can make out the trees. Like I said, the camcorder doesn't have as good a view as your eyeballs do. But I can make out what kind of trees they are. They're, they're maples and oaks down there. Try to hit the street part down there. I can see the street pretty good, but this is a pretty wide beam. I thought this thing was a little bit better than that on the uh, tightness of the beam. But uh, it's it's like a searchlight. I mean you can it's lights my whole <laughs> my whole yard up here. No problem. No problem seeing with that bugger. See the beam here. It looks like a space shuttle taking off. 
lot of dirt falling, huh? Look at all that. It's crazy. All right, so which flashlight is the best for you? Well, I guess it all depends on what you need it for and how much you're willing to spend. Um, the uh, the El Cheapo one here, you can get most hardware stores or anything um, for $299, $399, somewhere around there. Um, it's going to give you less amount of light, but you know if you need just to find your keys, yeah, you'll probably be good with that. Um, this is the one I like to take with me most of the time because it's small. Um, 450 lumens is pretty, pretty decent. Um, enough to give me uh, what I need for. Um, if you want, sometimes I'll take my other one. This is 650 lumens, um, and the 950 lumen ones are pretty damn good. Um, I take them with me too sometimes, but usually in the winter time when I got uh, long jeans on or something like that, the places to hide stuff more. Usually that's my summertime one, and I'll usually use these during the winter time. Uh, the bigger ones I don't take with me. Um, most of the time these are just around the house kind of things. Um, or if you hear something out in the woods out there and it's bothering the dogs or something like that, I'll easily bring the big flashlights out. I can see a lot more with it in the dark. Um, so which one's better? Hmm. Like I said, it depends what you need them for. These are really good tactical lights. Any one of these would do you any good. This is find your keys kind of a light. Um, I have the big ones. Um, Spotlight wise I would say the uh, the TM15 probably does a better spotting with three with the three LEDs. The uh, four LED one um, it throws a lot of light but uh, as far as hitting a certain spot with having a hot spot, um, not so well. Um, it has a lot of good side view, um, side light off to the side. Um, but the um, yeah, I, th I think the TM15 was probably the better light out of the two of them. Um, with the extra thighs and lumens, can do you any good? Well, it depends if you're trying to see a train way down the road. Um, but I think you know either one of these would do you any good. Just the uh, the 15 had a better um, spotlight, better hot spot than the um, TM26. They all come with pretty good, nice lanyards, or, uh, belt loop holsters. Uh, these would be pretty tough to be, unless you're uh, on a hunting trip or something like that be pretty tough to have anything secure with this. Now these, these fit on your belt loop pretty easily and are easily concealable. This one here actually fits in my pocket. I usually have it in my pocket all the time so it's probably the one that's worn out the most. And this one I don't use at all. You see my wife uses that one to walk the dogs. Well that's my assessment of the lights. And thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Please like. And, as always, be safe.